Islam is submission to Allah. Islam means obeying Allah's Sharia. Islam means obeying Allah's law. Islam means that what is halal has been decided by Allah and what is haram has been decided by Allah and what Allah decides is halal was halal in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam is halal today and will will be halal until the day of judgment we the muslim masses would never and should never bow down except to Allah Whoever believes that the legislation of the people is superior to Allah's legislation is without doubt a disbeliever. So therefore, how can the law and the sovereignty being with Allah be compatible with the law and the sovereignty being with the people? Since at its very fundamental level, democracy teaches that the people have the right to decide what is halal and what is haram. Welcome back. In this final segment, I'd like to review a poll commissioned by the Center for Security Policy. This was run by Kellyanne Conway uh, prior to her working as a senior advisor to President Trump. Here are a few of the questions from the poll that should give you some insight as to how American Muslims view the hierarchy of the Quran to the Constitution, where they stand. If you want to know how many people this survey might apply to, keep in mind there are 3.3 million Muslims in America. And here are some of their findings. If Sharia conflicts with the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights, which do you consider supreme? 43% said the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights. 33% said Sharia. 33% is over a million people. Should Muslims in the United States have their own courts or tribunals, or should they be subject to American laws and courts? In other words, Sharia court or American court? 39% said American courts only. 36% said be free to choose either. 15% said Sharia courts only. We should, as Muslims, be ruled in our public lives by the law of Allah. So 51% said either Sharia only or Sharia when they choose. Sharia courts can impose death penalties for things like disobeying and running away and shaming the family. Here's a quote. I believe that violence against those that insult the Prophet Muhammad, the Quran, or Islamic faith is sometimes acceptable. 29% agreed, 61% disagreed. They are the first in jihad line, putting their lives on the line to defend their faith. So roughly a third or about a million people say it's okay to commit violence against someone who insults the religion. Violence against Americans here in the United States can be justified as part of the global jihad. 25% agreed, 64 disagreed. Arms for jihad. We are the first ones to rush and run to defend our community and defend ourselves. That's 25% of three plus million people. Next question. Muslims in America should have the choice of being governed according to Sharia. 51% totally agree. 32% totally disagree. We should judge according to what Allah has revealed. It's over a million and a half people think Sharia should be the law of the land if they choose. Do you think the use of violence in the United States is justified in order to make Sharia the law of this country? 19% say yes, 66% say no. Be a Muslim who fights back when there is an attack on yourself, your community, your society, your nation, your religion, your dignity, your honor, your women, your children, or your neighbors. The enemies of Allah are lining up. The question is for us, are we lining? And finally, are you registered to vote in the state you currently live in, registered to vote in a different state or not at all? Total number voting, 
76% and 24% not registered. So these are people that are going to vote. They are going to influence your lives. And well over a million people are strongly in support of Sharia in place of the U.S. Constitution. Are you upset yet? We, like other people, we are not democratic. So whoever talks about Islam is democratic, they don't understand. So on the very basic philosophical level, we have to say, Islam is not compatible with democracy. If we mean by democracy that people have the right to legislate and people have sovereignty. So whoever wants to follow democracy, democracy against the very principles of Islam. Thanks for joining us today on The Truth Report. My special thanks go to Annie Cyrus for sitting down with me today to give us all her special insights. Stay in touch with us, America. We'll be following up on this story. You can write to me directly by sending me an email at barry at americantruthproject.org and go to our website where you can sign up to be on our mailing list so you never miss an important episode. Remember, it's just findbarry.com and you'll go right to it. America, you can handle the truth and we intend to bring it to you. I'm Barry Newsbaum.